First thing this week, Bucks in Six. Bucks and Six was the real deal. For the first time in 50 years, Milwaukee has won the 2021 NBA championship. And let's be honest, this has been a blast to watch. Giannis gets his first at the age of 26, reaching the mountaintop at a younger age than when LeBron, MJ, KD, and Steph Curry won their first titles. But Annalise, I think the most importantly, first thing, the title finally cements Giannis as the new face of the league for the next decade. What do you think? Yeah, I agree, Mackenzie. We all knew that Giannis had this potential to be the face of a league, but now that the Bucks have their title, it's awesome to look back at his resiliency, the team's resiliency throughout the season. And I mean, look at this picture of Giannis and Chris Middleton in 2013 <laughs> when Giannis was just a rookie. They have both grown with the franchise, literally grown, look at baby, baby. Giannis, <laughs> and they stuck with the Bucks, and it has finally paid off. But I could go to a super team and, you know, just do my part and win a championship, still one. But this is the hard way to do it and this is the way to do it. And we did it. Yeah. Proof that you can grow a team to a championship. So take that, super teams. As great as it was to see Giannis win his first title, it does hurt a little bit to see CP3 get so close, not be able to pull it off. I do hope he tries to run it back though with Booker and Aiton and the Suns. Even still, in the NBA playoffs, you never actually know if anyone will be back or not, as we all know that. Moving on to thing number two this week. So Tom Brady has got jokes. This man is at it again. He is actually doing stand-up comedy at the White House. Take a look. In fact, I think about 40% of the people still don't think we won. I understand that. Do you understand that, Mr. President? I understand that. Yeah. Seen Tom get to this point in his life where he's making fun of people on live TV, roasting people and not caring at all is hilarious. I feel like it's such a paradox from what we know him as when he's with, you know, paired with Bill Belichick for how many years he was there in New England. But this really just shows how comfortable he is now that he's away from the Patriot way. I mean, think about it, Mackenzie. This off season, we saw him drunk in public at the boat parade. <laughs> Love we that. saw him adding fuel to the flames that was Aaron Rodgers to Aaron Rodgers' face. And now he's poking fun at a president. <laughs> he's truly come a long way from this robot-like yeah. character we saw for 20 years in New England. Mm -hmm. And from Tom to Tokyo, our third thing this week is Tokyo Trials and Tribulations. So the 2020 Tokyo Olympics are getting ready to be in full swing. And of course, lots of controversy with how they're handling COVID. But with that said, I think that we should highlight some of the quirky moments we've seen so far. So this one story has been my favorite and I want to read the headline. Fiji's Olympic rugby team hitched a ride to Tokyo on a cargo flight with frozen fish. So if there is a will, there is a way. That's been one of my favorite Olympic moments so far. <laughs> Very quirky moment, Mackenzie, but before we dive into more serious Olympic topics, yeah. let's talk about some of the drama going down over the past few days in Tokyo, specifically the bed drama. There was a rumor going around <laughs> started by an athlete that all the beds were made out of cardboard specifically to avoid intimacy among athletes. Uh, but we also had some athletes here to dispel the fake news, Mackenzie. So let's take a look at this little clip. In today's episode of Fake News at the Olympic Games, the beds are meant to be anti-sex. They're made out of cardboard, yes, but apparently they're meant to break at any sudden movements. It's fake. Fake news. So it turns out the beds were made out of recycled materials and it has everything to do with sustainability in Tokyo and nothing to do with the Olympic Games being anti-sex. Thank you for de debunking this myth, Annalise. I appreciate that. Even though I doubt that cardboard beds would stop much, but... <laughs> Hey sports fans, if you want to watch more sports seriously, be sure to check out these clips right here. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel to see all the great content from us here at USA Today Sports.